Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Kevin coming back at you with some uh, vital information. Um, this is the 6 volt to 12 volt conversion part. Um, let's throw a number at it. 7 or 8. 8 and a half. 8 and 3. This is video 8 and 3 quarters is what this video is. Because I don't know. I've been doing so many videos. I forgot. So anyway. Um, guess what guys? I have some incredible information for you. And you're going to love me. And you know what? Kawasaki was thinking. They were really, really, really thinking. And um, it's pretty cool. I think someone had the idea before. Just didn't run with it. Uh, so anyway. Let's go with this one right here first. Okay. So on my, on my video from the 6 volt to 12 volt conversion. I had removed these two coils right here. These are your charging coils. Um, together they, you know, with going through the regulator, come out with 6 volt. And then I put a long coil that went across the actual length of this one. This is your um, CDI coil. Okay, this is this is what powers your, your CDI coil. Anyway, it was that length. The same bolt pattern, the same thickness, the same, everything looks exactly the same. Just the windings are different. Okay, so they will not, you cannot charge your lights with this coil. But this coil is for your um, electronic ignition. Okay, so here's the part that you're going to love me about. Okay, I've been asked, okay, David, this one's for you. And I'm talking to you, you know who you are. You're on the uh, Kawasaki forum there. Okay, you wanted a 12-volt um, coil for your bike with your electronic ignition because you have a newer bike. Well, I have got the solution for you. So I got this tonight um, on a parts bike, and I took the uh, CDI ignition off of it, off the parts bike, and it unbolts. And to my surprise, they are two separate coils. This whole thing right here, these three right here, are your six volt charging coils. Okay, you can unbolt, undo the four screws, and that comes right off. Boom, see ya! Now, here's where Kawasaki did us a solid. Okay, I don't know if you can see it from there. I'm going to try expanding it. Oh, I can see him beautifully. Great. All right, now I'm going to get something to point with. Hold on one second. Okay. Now, here's the beauty. Do you see this circle here and this circle here? If you drill and tap those two holes right there to fit the factory screws, I don't know what they are. Um, I know they're fine thread, and I think they're two or three millimeter I'm not quite sure you'd have to measure them out at the hardware store okay but you're going to want to buy the tap for those particular screws and I used on this setup the Yamaha Moto 4 charging system okay and was able to get 14 and a half volts out of it when it was all said and done and I showed you a video it was a video um, because the motor was running crappy it was like 13 something but I'm charging at you know over 12 and uh, you can too, ladies and gentlemen. Well, anyway, that coil will fit right here. All you have to do is drill and tap it. I did the measurements. Everything measures out. That's what you got to do. Unbolt these four bolts. Take this off here. You go get the Moto 4. And you can take a look and see what it looks like in my previous video. Where I mounted it onto the, um, what do you call it there, the points ignition. It will fit on this one. All you have to do is drill and use a tap. For those of you who do not understand what a tap is, I will show you what a tap looks like. Okay, this is a tap and die set. Um, what they do is if you have a stripped out hole or you drilled out a, uh, drilled out a spot and you wanted to put threads in them, a tap actually cuts the threads. You can get these in fine thread, coarse thread, standard or metric. Um, so these are what taps are. And this is the tool right there. They, they basically fit into the groove here. And then you, you rotate them into the hole. And it puts a thread on there. So this is a SAE um, tap set. Or American. It's not um, European or Japanese. Or however you want to put it. Um, so this is the one for the American. My other one's at work. So I don't have that with me to check the size of it. But anyway... All we care about right now is the fact that this can be done. 
and the same unit that I used on this system will fit on this system. So I hope this helps you guys all out. For you guys who wanted to do your um, 12 volt conversion, um, it can be done on the electronic ignition. I did all the measurements. All you gotta do, drill, tap, mount your coil, off you go. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye. Works great. So anyway, as always, um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. And if you have any questions or comments, send them my way. And uh, you guys have a, a great night. Thank you.